Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be sharing my sketchbook practice for drawing portraits. I'm happy to have you here. I've spent countless hours perfecting my skills and I'm excited to share my knowledge with you. If you find this tutorial helpful, please do not hesitate to give it a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on my future content. I've been drawing professionally since 2005 and I want to help you improve your portrait drawing skills with a simple method that I started with. When I began my studies at the European Institute of Design, I had no prior artistic training and many of my classmates already had experience in drawing. I worked hard to catch up, especially with realistic drawings. In this video, I'll share three easy tips that will help you become a portrait drawing pro in no time. I hope this method helps you improve your portrait drawing skills as it did for me. First thing first, let's start with a reference photo. Choose a photo that you love and that has a clear view of the face. Once you have your photo, it's time to get started. To begin, take your reference photo and trace a vertical line down the center of the face. Keep in mind that if the face is in a three-quarter perspective, like this one, the line won't be in the exact center. Next, trace a horizontal line across the face to arc the island. This will help you to place the eyes in the correct position. Now it's time to take measurements. Grab a trusty ruler and measure the distance between the eyes, the distance from the eyes to the nose and the distance from the nose to the mouth. These measurements will ensure that your drawing is as accurate as possible. Remember, accuracy is key when it comes to drawing a face. By taking the time to measure and mark the center of the face and the eye line, you'll be amazed at the result you can achieve. Second, pay close attention to the details in the reference photo. Take note of the placement of the facial features, such as the eyes, nose and mouth. Observe the overall shape of the head, including the jawline and the cheekbones. Don't forget to notice the small details, like the shape of the eyebrows and the curve of the lips. By taking the time to observe these details, you'll be able to create a more accurate and lifelike representation of your subject. And finally, practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the better you'll become. Let me tell you, there are so many ways to practice. You can practice every day, every other day, or even once a week. You can practice alone, with a friend or with a group. You can practice in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening. The important thing is that you practice consistently and with dedication. I believe in you and I know that with enough practice you'll achieve your goals.
Thank you for watching this video about my sketchbook practice. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on my future content.